and five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev on stage. She's Patrick Angel. Welcome to another podcast bangers, episode. Bangers, smash that like bangers, button. Smash that bangers, notification bangers, button. Bangers, bangers, bangers are 2023. Bangers, bangers, bangers just for you and me. Welcome back. If you if you don't know, uh, we we spent a good deal of time with Keith the Lee last week. We made a bonus episode public to the rest of the world. So please indulge in that. He told great stories. He told us about his life. It was fantastic. Also, the NAACP Image Awards uh, voting closes the Thursday. Yes, so the day, so, after, oh, yes. the day after people are watching this. The day after people are watching this or listening to this. So do your vote. Uh, all the people vote like this. This. Oh, my God. This. No, 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 no. This. No. I'm going to do that. No, this. please don't. All the people vote like this. You they're know what's not, funny about gonna TikTok vote. song? That's going to deter votes. No. 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 I'm going to tell you what's funny about that voters. song. In my mind, uh, that is that song. And it came on the radio the other day, and the girl was rapping. And I was like, You're like, hush now. You're like, what, what is this? <laughs> why you, why, why does it sound talking? like a TikTok? I've never heard it. Never heard the lyrics. I don't know who that artist is. That's most songs on TikTok. That I don't know. Hot. Who is the artist? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> but I know the song. All the people vote like, boo doo. Boo. She was like, rapping good too. It was just really interesting that I don't think I've ever heard more than 15 seconds of that. At all. Um, I would yeah. like to say, okay, not only do I hope that you win and he'll find out on Friday, I would also like to say that this podcast is sponsored by oh, three yeah. amazing companies, and they are Next Evo, Mint Mobile, and Kev's favorite, Noom. Noom.com slash. <laughs> what what is today? That's slash what our is. code. We'll get to that at the time. Wait, shoot. Do you, I need to do that. One. Yeah, yeah the end. Today, it's today the end. you do. All right. Um, uh, Give me one second. Say. Cut this out, Greg. Cut this out. What was the name? Uh, hold on, Grosh. Cut this out. I oh, forgot about this. Hold on. Hold Like. No, you don't have to. I'm saying when you edit this, cut this oh, out. Oh, it's, it's in the email. I know. I know. I'm just pulling you it up. You don't afford it to so it bumps? Uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. All right. All right. Uh, also, shout out to my brother. Happy heavenly birthday. My dog. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, Forever 81. You know, it's funny. This is not funny, but it's interesting. Before my brother passed, I was like, why do people wish people happy birthday when they like, why do they, they do that? Why do they put themselves through that? And then I know now mm -hmm. I was like, this why it's yeah. still their birthday. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still, their, it's birthday. still their birthday. It's your birthday. And I know you want to ride out. So if my energy is less than 100, it's because it just yeah. hush. Morning. Uh, Weeping Bay Endure. Do not play Frank Ocean Godspeed. All right. We actually meant to talk about this last week or a week or two ago, but it's at the top of the list today. This is such a wild story. A whistleblower in the Auburn University Black Student Union <laughs> claims to have retrieved a Google Doc from a group message associated with the organization which lists over 250 racial slurs for white people. Okay. Somebody done snitched like YSL Woody to wow. the, uh, <laughs> to the, to the wow. Auburn University. Now, listen, we have talked about this before as black people, mm -hmm. white people, when they were coming up with racist terms for black people were in their creative bag. Mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. they got him up with some great ones. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, black people, we haven't returned the favor uh, with as much vitriol. No. Right. No. These kids down at Auburn, they, said we're about they to the went to a master class <laughs> of racial <laughs> slur. So we've got some ideas. We've got some real. There's good a ideas. lot of them. So I'm going to just list some that that kind of rose to the top. You just love to always walk the line, don't so you? So to speak. Oh. What? This is a topical story. <laughs> this is what this podcast is about. It's a you topical. You love This to was the, the main thing of Twitter a, a week or two ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, back in 2022. <laughs> back in 2022. This Some is of the names on the list labeled favorites were parentheses. <laughs> oh, no. Sour Cream Citizen. Bleach demons. Wow. Sugar <laughs> sugar sardines. <laughs> Elbow crust. <laughs> oh wow. Dandruff paper. Copy and paste. Skin stealers. Oh. I don't even know what that is. I don't either. 
uh, ashy, but you can't see it. Wow. Crest 3D whitening strips. <laughs> but they called it creaker names. <laughs> what is this? Why it just tickles this? Kevin. How would you call somebody a Crest 3D whitening strip? It's such a long thing to say. It's, they were. This was therapy you for them. <laughs> you Crest. You Crest 3D whitening strips. It's, it's so, so long. long. It's God. so long. It's so easy to stutter. And then it loses the impact. <laughs> Okay, a couple other ones. Vanilla it. vultures. <laughs> Rice rascals. That sounds terrible. People of colonial complexion. Uh, sour cream. <laughs> sour cream salamanders. Sour cream salamanders? Oh, oh. What is this thing with fish? Women, is a salamander a lizard? A, a lizard. Oh, it's animals. It's yeah. the sardines, the salamander. Oreo filling. <laughs> Unedited Google document. <gasps> oh, wow. Now that one. Unedited Google document? That is creative. That one is. It's that not too is long. Creative, Angel. Because it took good. me a second. I was like, Un it's white. Yeah. Before you do anything, it is. It's white. That one is probably the only one that I feel like somebody really honed in on what they meant. <laughs> The rest, they were just like, let's just throw out different. Some stuff is just. <laughs> the, like know. dandruff paper. What is even Man. that? <laughs> what is dandruff that? paper is like, you know, when, you're, when your kids were super young, I mean, you're kind size age. Mm. When they get mad, they just throw out. The, Brand, that's what it feels like. <laughs> you big head, stupid face. That's what some of these I feel like. You this arm is, leg. Like, what are this is not our. I'm sorry. This is not our zone of genius. Ranch <laughs> raccoon. It's funny. It's not our zone of genius. It's not. Angel, I'm gonna tell you my favorite one. It's not in this doc. The best one we've come up as a people is when we're talking and like, yeah. So you know, mm -hmm. and you keep going. That is it. You don't even have to say it. Mm -hmm. This is not even white. Really, it's more peach. No, for black fine. people but the point was like yeah you so you know that's mm -hmm. how they was like that's my favorite one no marcus hit me with the the number of the letter what did he do oh 20 is it 25 of the the um the, it was the y in the t the, the color number. code no 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 now that would have been amazing that's funny the was, number of the a... y the number of y in the in the alphabet is number 25 <sighs> got it and then the number for t is like 22 or something 21 that's good that's good and he hit me with that so fast and he was like is it a 20 25 25 and i was like that is good i said now the fact that i know what you just said that is very that should be in here now that's good yeah that one's good these i'm sorry it's not 25 20 was 25, it 25 20? 25, 25 20? 20 yeah i was gonna say because three three less than is isn't 25 20 is, is excellent work yeah I must say. He was like, you know, she's 25, 20, and da da da, da, da And I was like, right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to have to use that. that the color code for know. white is is uh, six Fs. Six, six, six? No, no, six, oh, six oh, hey, Fs. Hey, I, hey, was hey, like, hey. I was like, what? You uh, know, the six Fs was over there. That's good, too. But 25, 20 just rolls off the tongue. It rolls very nicely. Two by two, oh, you know? Two yeah, by 25, two. 20. We got a 25, 20 on the horizon. But listen, I just surely did. I was like, y'all calling him Satan? Is that what we're doing? No, oh, no, wow. six Fs. Now I got it now. I don't Not know what sixes. I heard. I was like, what? One of these is just styrofoam. They were just naming white beans. Yes, that's what I said. It is not our zone of genius. Oh, oh. they're like you, cloud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Toilet paper looking ass. It's not what we do best. All You're right. right. You're right. So moving on. Um... I made up. I made a little clip of this, but we'll talk about it a little bit more here. I was like, "Why the hell you asked me if we gonna do it? On, if you just gonna do it on your own?" I wasn't. You said you came locked. If 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 you didn't have it, no, I'm talking about on your own. You did it on Kev on stage. Oh, that, because that, that everybody don't watch the podcast. <laughs> you I, said I, no. I'm still gonna call uh, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the video. Oh, but, uh, but that's you. That's hard to talk about. You know, at length. Yeah, you right. You right. You right. You right. Uh, the black community was up in arms. Portions of the black community were up in arms over ASAP Rocky and Rihanna's British Vogue cover. Mm -hmm. And then Jonathan Majors, um, ah, shoot, was it Ebony? I think it was Ebony. 
Um, yeah, another one that came out too. Was it was Ebony? That, I think it was another one though. The one that he had that thing in was that Ebony too? I don't know if they're both. What are we talking about? Say it the again. article, magazine, the magazine, magazine covers. <laughs> uh, John the Majors had one when he was in all red. Yeah, and they then, liked that one when he had the flowers, but the in the boxing. But you talk about the one where he has on the pink coat. Yeah. The pink coat. Oh, the it was also ebony. Coat. Yeah, it was, it was ebony. ebony. And his legs across. They had. They did a couple of different cover options. Got it. And his legs Got across it. on top of the couch. Ebony. So I didn't know. I mean, I knew this at the time of video. I just didn't include it, um, and it doesn't really matter to the point of why people are mad. But apparently, that he was styled after an anime character, Do Flamingo, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo, from One Piece. And he's a villain, and that's basically what he wears like pink stuff, but he's some terrifying villain. And the black stylist, correct me if I'm wrong, stylist or photographer. I want to say stylist. Uh, the stylist likes that anime and, mm-hmm, you know, so dress I thought like it her. looked great. And that's yeah. not even in a like um, sexualizing Jonathan. Yeah. I thought it looked really nice. Well, my thing is this. Okay, let's start with Jonathan because I started with Rihanna yesterday. Magazine covers, fashion wise, and red carpets are where celebrities take bold fashion choices for pictures. You don't want to see people. Well, I don't know if you want to see them. We don't see people styled normally mm-hmm. in these things. Like this is where people go off and be creative and artsy. Totally random. Totally random. This is just reminding me of this. The guy who designs the Pope's vestments, like the robes he makes and all the stuff that's attached to him is gay. No. I saw this on Twitter, and first of all, I really pay attention to the Pope's robes and stuff. Ain't nobody seen the Pope. The Pope is, you know what made me realize how dope the Pope stuff is? When Chadwick wore it to the Met Gala. Man, didn't he get a fit off? Yeah, I was like, wait, no, this is, and they be, I mean, obviously it was a take on it, but I was like, no, but they do be like razzle dazzle. They be, like bishops in the black community, they be getting some fits off, but the Pope? Yeah, he's not playing. He's not playing. But anyway, so when I saw that picture, and I, honestly, maybe the the Jonathan Majors one, when I saw that picture, I didn't think nothing about it. I thought it was hilarious that the the boots and pants looks like one thing. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, how do you? How you think that you got to get all the way? <laughs> you got you to got a, a onesie doing? pants on. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen the boots with the fur mm-hmm. all in one piece. And jeans. That was just like, who made... That's like, how do you even somebody fantastic? Somebody, how do you fabulous. fit my shoe? Like, what, how do you do? I got 42 ways, they gonna but tailor size 12, to they're gonna tell and they're gonna give you a Do you start bag. with the boots, Angel? How do you do this? Yeah, where do you purchase boots, pants, <laughs> boots, pants? They sew, they sew it all up. I love who it. Who makes boots, pants? I love it. So, I didn't even think nothing of that one. Uh, but the Rihanna one. I was like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, this is going to be the, this is going to be a discussion. <laughs> Let's go back to Jonathan. Really. Let's go back to Jonathan. J. Mage. I don't know if niggas remember how <clears throat> men were dressing in the 70s and 80s, but they damn near looked like the women. Uh, and- cameo in them? Cameo. Commodores? Prince. Prince. Prince had on fashion overfits <laughs> Prince and had heels. His, he had his butt out. He had his we butt saw out. his yellow cheeks. <laughs> These were men that were considered uh they were considered desirable desirable by women, straight women, and men wanted to be like them. So now we all of a sudden forget Oh, yes, androgyny. That was the thing. Men Prince? were wearing there were not just prints. Oh, dressing that way. Androgynous. Men were wearing eyeliner under you remember um Le- Coke Jam? You remember there was a, you don't know Lisa Lisa and Coke Jam? Mm-mm. And I'm all crying. Okay, well, God dang it. I can't believe Coke Jam. Colt. Colt Jam. Colt Jam? Mm-hmm. Colt Jam. Who is Lisa Lisa? Stop playing with me. I don't is a black man lady mad? I literally don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I know. Maybe I'll know. Hold on. Because I don't want the blacks to be upset. Please, 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 Kevin, please. Please know this. Mm. Maybe I just don't know it by the name. Oh, what's the name of the song? Oh, that was the name of the group. You don't know. Oh, yes. Okay. It, okay. I didn't know that they were called Cult Jam. These men wore crop tops. I just recognize it. Absolutely. They wore crop tops from Forever 21. <laughs> this is full, full forces in this. Oh, full force. Full force. Full force. Right. They're the bad full guys force. from um. Yes. Th- this uh, house party. 
Oh, and this that too, that too. Yeah. You also, if you watch Miami football back in the nineties, they all had the crop top. These oh yeah, he's out. Like, Actually, a lot of people, but Miami was really known for. Men it. were wearing crop tops and the shortest shorts. Balls. Oh dang, he got his whole. Yes. His shirt was just this. this. It's just his titties is out. I've never seen this music video. I've only heard this song. Oh yeah, that's all of them dressed with um, dressed very what now would be considered. Way to is that my computer? Hi, it's the food. Oh, it's here early. Jesus. Sorry, guys. Um, is that the computer? Is that somebody calling you? Uh could okay. be. Okay. Anyways, men dressed very, 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 very what would be considered feminine now. Very much so that way. And nobody was like, he liked dick. <laughs> That was not what people, oh, <laughs> people weren't thinking that, or he don't want to be a man and masculine. Yeah. But now I just feel like people are forgetting like the fashion and how we, <laughs> how, <laughs> how men dress so and impressive. how we see their, their masculinity changes. Do you remember when skinny jeans came out? Mm -hmm. That. I Remember skinny it. where jeans were all like bright in color, all the jerkers were wearing them. Those and then divide, like, that was a divide in, in culture. Oh my goodness. I thought the skinny jean come I hated skinny jeans for a totally different reason. They was too skinny. It's the same for me. My body was like, oh, now come on, y'all. We I don't like that most places slim fit is the standard. Yeah, it's very you need to, regular need to be the standard. Just regular. That's why it's called regular. Yeah. Uh, like, uh -uh. Express. Mm -mm. I walk by their store expressly. They want you to get out of They'd there be like, as fast as possible. The people might as well be like, take your big behind <laughs> down over there. We don't have I, nothing over here. Skinny but jeans skinny jeans was the strong. I mean, this is before social media, the arguments, but in the barbershop, oh my, they over here wearing skinny jeans, <laughs> dancing, smiling, doing the jerk. I was like, oh, these kids are like 14. And if you think about it, the generation that was right before them, that was when sagging had lost its mind. We were seeing whole, whole booties. Whole butts. It was like, why? How was that more masculine? It wasn't. It wasn't. Holding your whole pants up, and this is not on some like, Oh, y'all don't like, like, this is just not practical for, <laughs> like, for moving not. through the, moving through the world. This is like how you can't walk good. That's why so many black men were being incarcerated. They could not run away. <laughs> they were having to, they were tripping over their jeans. They were tripping over their big belt. How are you going to run <laughs> from the cops when it looked like you were in mid shit? That's what it looked like. Oh, the police are coming. I bet uh, those, those, uh, when dudes used to wear their pants that low on a regular basis, it used to stress me out. Cause I was just like, I'm going to, you're going to, your pants are going to end up falling. <laughs> and then what are we all going to do? We I, have to look I away. couldn't, I couldn't sag fully like that. Like your I'll try to be cool. Be. Your butt is your rump roast. Is way, people going to think you trying to tell them something. It's not going to be, Oh, Kev was just fashionable. They like, he trying to get somebody's attention fully. <laughs> Now, the streets have said I'm sitting on dubs. You have said as well. I'm, I'm the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, listen, I usually have the biggest butt in the room. Kevin <laughs> said, sit down, sis. I'll take it from here. Sit down. I was like, hey, hey, Man. you going ahead. Listen, but no, I can't. Men, the, the people just want to be stressed out about how other men portray themselves. Dog. And I say they need to go ahead and get some next Evo to relieve their stress. All right. Get ahead of the stress this year by experiencing a full potential of CBD with next Evo Naturals. Next Evo Naturals is the most clinically studied CBD brand and their smart sorb technology can help you get a better start to the year with products like their stress CBD complex literally took one last night. Um, we have had a rough week because three of my four children are sick. Mm. And I was like, listen, I need to decompress because life is a life in right now. And my husband actually takes their one that, um, Helps with uh, sleep. He takes those every night faithfully. One gummy. He absolutely loves it. Knocks him out like a baby. He is snoring. Um, so as for me and my house, we own the, these Next Evo CBD, especially their gummies. The gummies are our favorite. Um, but they also have uh, pills as well as... Uh, 
dissolvable, so things that you can like put in water or liquid. Explore a variety of Nexevo products for less stress, better sleep, and a boost to daily wellness in 2023. Stress complex. Stress CBD complex has both smart Zorb CBD <clears throat> and a patented whole plant ashwagandha clinically proven to sh- reduce stress by up to 70% and improve concentration by 50%. Don't just use any CBD brand. Most CBD products on the market only have two to 10% absorptions. So at least 90% is actually being wasted. It's simple. If it's not absorbed, it can't help you. Next Evo is different. It delivers four times better overall CBD absorption and has been proven in multiple clinical studies. Make CBD a part of reaching your full potential with Next Evo Naturals. Go to nextevo.com slash podcast, podcast. And, and use code, promo code SK, SK to get 20% off your first order of $40 or more. That's 20% off for $40 or more at N-E-X-T-E-V-O dot com slash podcast with code SK. SK. S-K. But this ASAP Rocky one is, they just keep coming at this man's <sighs> neck. I don't, I don't understand. So somebody tweeted this and I, I hadn't thought of this. Somebody said, y'all don't think, so the article is about her. They said, y'all don't think maybe she just wanted to include her family? even though she's the focal point of the article. In my mind, I said, man, first of all, the first thing I said is that is a cute baby. Uh-huh. I hadn't seen the baby. Mm. Uh, I knew the baby's going to be cute because they both the, pretty. Yeah, up and, you know, sometimes, though. Yeah, it does. Sometimes. Some, you know, I used to believe that whole thing, two ugly people would make a pretty baby, and then I saw an uglier baby. With two ugly people? It was uglier than its parents. Whose was it? Oh, my God. Well, their name... No, uh, <laughs> But that yeah. is a cute little. I love when babies just be little fat. Like, look at that little fat under his arm. Oh, no, yeah. He's just that's a cute the little best. baby. That's the best. And ASAP Rocky, the rapper, um, the rapper father, he just, I, I don't know, he's just kissing his baby. Uh, Rihanna is standing in front, but like, bruh, it's Rihanna. Yeah. Right? So somebody compared this to Oprah and Stedman. Josh, mm-hmm. throw this picture of Oprah and Stedman in, please. It's in the doc. And the guy's tweet says, this is 90s cover. The focus was Oprah, who's 10 times richer than her fiance. But look at the pic. The man is still the man. Men actually used to be men, and women used to be men. And then the woke virus infected humanity. Sad. And I was just like, <sighs> I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what the internet bothers me with sometimes. What? Spitting. We shouldn't have access to everybody's thoughts Yeah. all the time. You, you usually hang out with people who are like-minded, which is good for all, mm-hmm. right? If you are the emasculation, this is emasculation, you hang out with emasculation people. And y'all be like, yeah, brother, this is what's wrong with the man. This was, and then and nobody challenges you. If you don't think like that, then then you go, oh, this is fine, or it's not a topic of conversation. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you go to the barbershop or cookout or you're in mixed company <laughs> and you get into discussions. But what happened before the internet, usually you went home mm-hmm. to people who likely thought like you. And then you said, hey, man, bye, bye, bye. Went home to your life. When you're on Twitter or Facebooks or Twitter, I mean, uh, tick to the top, then you be like, ah, you hear it. And there's think pieces and tweet pieces. And sometimes I just feel like I don't, I just don't, I don't. And I, I I wish I I sometimes want to just have somebody else get me all the topics of the podcast and I've had that before. Don't, Angel. I didn't say anything. You did. I did. You are an actress, Angel. You know. You do what? not have to say words to say a lot. Mm-hmm. A little look, a turn of the a head. A turn of the I was turning my head to make sure I could hear you no, as clearly you. as you were talking. God, Angel. You guys are really far apart. I, I believe Joshua. Angel. I was like, what is he? No. What is he? Angel. Saying? You, uh, this is why I love that I only see stuff, controversial stuff, because stage crew. DMs me it. Same. Really? Yes. Mm. They're like, Angel, look at what this woman said about Beyonce. Angel, look at what this person did. <laughs> but they also, it's because they wanted to be talked about on Here's the Thing. But I miss all of it. I would not you just be living it. the world. Oh, and I love it. I, I love like it. that for you. I do. I don't want to hear other people's opinions on things that I don't have an opinion on, to be honest. I've been mm. using Twitter less and less. Yeah, I tell have you? you? Yeah, man. It's like I'll go up, I'll go on Twitter if I want to get a couple thoughts off, and then I might scroll a little bit. But I actually think I've been going less and less too. Like I'm gonna post my videos, 
But I feel like my irritation level is mm -hmm. comes higher. faster and faster. Because you're getting old. You're about to be 40. I'm about to be 40. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been and I just, Twitter less and less, too. I be... <laughs> Angel, once you uh, uh, stop that Bachelor podcast... Now, so get me the... I saw. Here. I didn't see you for a minute. Then you came back and you tweeted Churchy, and I ain't seen you since. But I just go to make sure my password still works. <laughs> That's all. Is this By the way, Twitter. This might be the final straw for a lot of people. They're removing uh, two-factor authentication. Oh no! Via your cell phone. Why would they do that? Unless you pay for Twitter Blue. Oh, oh just take cool. Twitter then. I only end up getting the two. You saw Instagrams adding a a Twitter Blue. To, to get yeah, verified? Yeah, Melissa showed me where you can pay for verification and stuff. Oh, I just got verified on TikTok. Did you? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Nothing. They just found you? No, I mean, they didn't just find me. The HBO made sure they knew who I was. The HBO? They said. Oh, that show finna come out, Angel. They said, here, this black girl over here. I was like, oh, y'all like me now. That's good. Thank you, friend. Angel got a hair pulled back. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I really... It's so funny because they were already on ASAP before the the cover came out, mm. and you know what makes him. What were they on him for? You know when he was. Uh, they were already talking about him once they found out that he got her pregnant again. Oh, he just the house husband. They, I didn't hear nobody say that about oh, him. They were already. They were already creeping up on him. ASAP already had money. Is that a house is that husband? A, is that a secret that ASAP was already a successful artist? You know, he's the best even, of the ASAP. We were talking like most popular of the ASAP. You, know, you remember before this, because this cover, this whole conversation about the cover came out like three days ago. Uh, the this Vogue cover three or four days ago, we were talking about it. People, people are like, uh, because when, especially when he was like taking pictures and video on the yeah, sidelines, yeah, people were already like, mm -hmm, as because if, he's recording her. People have a problem with their lives and that they're not married That's to Rihanna. For, they're also, married Rihanna's to Rihanna's a billionaire. Bertrand. Like I would what? I would absolutely be at home <laughs> exactly. married to a billionaire. Dog. Yeah. Let me tell the you. The thing is, I think <clears throat> people forget how you feel about me don't change my life. You get to you get to be in a bed and Rihanna's in that bed. I don't care what other people think about that. It really don't. Like, I mean, I'm not close to celebrity of Rihanna ASAP, but if I were, and even if ASAP, even if she wasn't ASAP, even if she was Joey Fontacchino, and Joey she just, Fontacchino. she just loved him. If that's your life, baby, y'all are strangers to me. Now somebody's talking about he's, uh, he's a colorist. He could be, that's not what people were talking about that I'm talking about. ASAP is a colorist? Yeah, that's what somebody that, said. That's another. That's a different. I mean, that's not what I'm referring to. As in, people were already at his neck. It was like, did he me. wear a skirt one time? I'm sure he did. I think he has. Wearing skirts. I think I think he has. I think I'm trying to remember if this was a thing. I'm trying to remember if this was a thing. He did wear one. Yeah, he's worn a skirt a lot of times. He's always been like very fashion forward. He is. He is a pretty man. Okay. <laughs> He is very pretty. Anyway, uh, I'm done with it. Moving on. Angel's favorite artist. The. Beyonce. 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 We, we just want to <laughs> touch on this real quick. This is in Trapital. Um, Beyonce's Ivy Park Adidas partnership has struggled. Okay. Uh, Dan Runcy, friend of the pod. I've done Trapital once. I'm going to synthesize this, but you should read the whole article on Trapital.co. Essentially, what he boiled down this struggle. They now they they uh, Adidas is projecting that um, there's going to be a two hundred million dollar drop in Adidas sales projections. OK. Um, they wanted before Kanye's issues, they wanted Ivy Park to be like um, easy. Yeezy, right? Mm -hmm. And they thought it would uh, happen. What the people are saying, uh, and these are literal tweets from her fans. Um, she's more of an artistic god, this is somebody's tweet, take it easy, than an aspirational figure. We know nothing about her day-to-day -day lifestyle and her icon status benefits from that. Her ability to retain mystery is a rare currency. 
Another member said, it doesn't feel like Beyonce herself would wear the brand to work out. People want to buy an experience. Ivy Park has yet to deliver that experience. He was also making a point that uh, Louis Vuitton, Moet Hennessy did a deal with Rihanna for Fenty clothes and they were selling for like $750 and it didn't sell at Both all. Those clothes was ugly. Were they? Yeah. I don't even remember this happening. It was all very this. oversized. I remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and obviously Rihanna, Rihanna became a billionaire because of Fenty Beauty and Savage Fenty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most of those both are pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. um, but what he was saying about Beyonce is that because she is so mysterious and she's guarded, it makes her music experience like, oh, we have to see her. Like her ticket buying process, I haven't seen anybody in our community with the ticket thing this hard. Like this is like Taylor Swift level yeah, of like- Yeah, this is crazy. Waiting list, verified Stupid. codes, verified fans. People are flying all over the world to see Beyonce. He was saying that what makes her sell tickets crazy like that and people feel like I've got to see her is the opposite of what makes you want to buy clothes. Uh, they were like, his point in the article was like, Kanye wear, was wearing Yeezy. He was showing you the design process, walking you through everything. So you felt like, uh, he, he made the point, like you, you felt like you he also were- He the fashion shows too. He had fashion shows. He said he felt like you were wearing, you were seeing a painter's unfinished paintings as he was working on them. Um, Y'all looked unfinished. But Ivy Park, and I'm gonna just tell you from my point of view, I bought Melissa Ivy Park the first two drops. Yeah, nothing fit. She, it didn't fit and she never wore it. She yeah. was like, I don't know, I don't know where to wear this. There's a funny video from Lisa Beasley. She was like, my queen, she was doing it in Margaret Thatcher's voice. Mm -hmm. Is this for working out or going out? Yeah, the clothes are confusing. They are very. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's the problem. Like the clothes are hella confusing. If it wasn't for the fact that I am on camera four times out of the week, I would have no place to wear Ivy Park. To wear Ivy Park. There was a jumpsuit that I wore that I feel like made me look like a thick Power Ranger. The only reason why I was able to wear it recently is because I went to a gay club. And I was like, and it was a male gay club, so everything's fabulous. Because if it would have been a woman's gay club, then again, I can't wear it. Well, I was like, where am I going to wear this outfit at? With a, a complete sequence trench coat. It's like there, there are items that you're just like, or the at the um, Ant-Man premiere. That was the first yeah. time I finally got to wear that red jumpsuit because they made the shoulder pads so high. Right. I was like, this is, if you are a regular person. That's the person in the world. That goes to their job, picks their kid up from school, goes to church. You don't have nowhere to wear this stuff. You don't. And then the workout stuff, it's just like, I don't want to work out in this. I don't. I do not want to work out in this. And I buy the stuff, again, because one, of my profession. But if I were just a regular person, I feel like. Like not on camera every four times a there week. There are only a few pieces that, for me, are like pieces that I would just absolutely adore having in my wardrobe for regular day life. But, like. Nah, like I can understand. They put it on Beyonce's not mysterious enough. No, what is this? <laughs> Where am I wearing it? Yeah, no, no, Beyonce's too mysterious. <laughs> I want I want to know if it's been the same team of designers this entire time. Oh, thank you for saying that. Okay. You're that welcome. was another point that he said that I brought up. There's been creative tensions between Adidas and Beyonce's team. Mm. And he said in this point, he said Kanye also said that, but it was overshadowed by all the other stuff he said. But before he was saying the anti-Semitic stuff, he was saying like Adidas and his teams are not meshing uh -huh. creatively. He was like, that got washed away because he said some more ridiculous stuff. But apparently that's another issue with Adidas is that they're not, uh, I, I would take it as they're not listening to Beyonce. Mm -hmm. They are saying what they want. And that was the main thing. Thank you for uh, saying that, uh, Josh. You're welcome, Kevin. But they, he was saying, I was reading another article in the Wall Street Journal. It was saying like of the last two drops, more than half of those clothes went unsold. Well, they be saying that they sold out on the website, so I guess resellers are getting it. Because I go every single drop. And I don't buy the whole collection anymore. <laughs> but I look for pieces that I'm like, oh, okay, this I might be able to pull yeah. off. Because I do need clothes for camera, but uh-uh. This, a lot of the stuff be so weird looking. It's just like, I can't imagine if I still lived in Kentucky. Right. 
where especially the, the bank, the, the leggings that have the underwear print on the outside. <laughs> Why no, do they, I want they still somebody? Got, they still got stuff up. This drop they do, but oh, they, yeah. a lot of my sizes, they don't, they don't have. They're sold out of your twill suit top. They still got the pants. The, what tool? Twi- the twill. Twill, oh, the, the green. Yeah, that thing's cute. I got a lot of compliments on it, but I'm in L.A. <laughs> You are in LA. Oh yeah, That's, it's a different thing when you live in Iowa. Oh, they have Kev. They have a five hundred dollar hooded coat. You can wear it to the show. You can wear it to the NAACP Image Award dinner when you win. I'm not wearing the Ivy Park. When you win, coat. what do you mean? That's Friday though. I know they they coming quick. It gets here fast. They got ice spice on here. I don't know who booty tay. You don't know Ice Spice? Internet, 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 internet. Yeah. Is that the munch, the redhead little girl? <laughs> That's the little orphan Annie. Oh, my from God. From the Bronx. <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, I, yes, might, she I is. might get a My nieces love Ice Spice. Internet, 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 oh, internet, internet, they, internet. They, she, she is Lauren Hill to them. <laughs> one of my friends. Uh, she is the best thing smoking. <laughs> one of my friends said, I don't watch any of her videos with sound. Is this the real song? <laughs> exactly. My uh, Kai likes somebody similar. Oh, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh, love Ed Sheeran. Uh, he's kind of problematic. Red right? hair and oh. very light complected. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how are Ice Spice and Ed Sheeran? They should do a collab. I would love it. Wouldn't that be fun? I would be all in for Ice he, and Ed. He he dips all over the place he in genres. Does. Oh yeah, he's a good time. He's got two songs with Burner Boy. Does he? Yes, one on. His, they, I think they did a trade because he got one on his album and vice versa. That's dance hall, right? Like the, Afro Burner beats. Boy. Yeah, for, okay. I was mm. like, I, I'm gonna get. You close. know, Burner Boy. Uh, is he a brown skin girl? I don't know. I know. I know who he is. He's not booty taped to me. He's not booty taped. He's I on that album. I don't know if he's on brown skin girl. Yeah. Connect the two. You know, sometimes my connection is a little faulty, but never with Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. First of all, their reception quality and the quality of the phone calls are amazing. Crisp. Usually you think if you're about to drop your phone bill that that low that you are about to just be might as well be talking into a can. A can with a, with string. a string through okay. it. Josh don't know with about that. That's how our right. first cell phone <laughs> was. He don't know like, nothing about that? that. That's how we used to talk, Angel. He don't know nothing about it. Now, hello? Hello? You ain't got to do all that with Mint Mobile. You can bring down the cost because, listen, we out here trying to go to concerts. Janet Jackson's on tour. Beyonce's with on Luda. tour. Okay, all these people is touring. Uh, uh, Usher about to be back in Vegas. Vegas. Till October. Till October. Where are you going to save money to be able to go to these things? Your phone bill is the first place you should look and you should use Mint Mobile because truly they have made it so easy to save money and to still have quality phone calls. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless plans for just $15 a month. By going online and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data delivery on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just $15 a month and get a plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. That's mintmobile.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. Cut your wireless plan to 15, 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. Let me tell you a word that I don't ever say. What? Bucks. Bucks. I say dollars. Yeah. Bucks is 25, 20. 26, 20. Let me tell you this. 25? 25. 25, 20. 25, 20? Because it's 26 letters in the alphabet and Y is the second letter. YSL is the next thing we're talking about. Let's get it. Why <laughs> YSL Woody was being interrogated by the police. I honestly didn't even think this was real at first. I ain't gonna hold you, Angel. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're saying he told them people some stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just play a little bit of it. If you're unsure of YSL Woody, he is all, AKA Kenneth Copeland. 
This is him talking to detectives about Young Thug wanting to get someone killed. Mm. Uh, this leaked two or three days ago, uh, I believe. I'm not going to play it all, but here's some of it. You can't understand it. Yeah, no. no. Long story short, I was like, man, <clears throat> long story short, the detectives are talking to this young man and he's like, I can tell you who going to get killed. I can take you to him. You can put me on FaceTime. You can tell me what's going on. I mean, I can tell you what's going on. Everything they're accusing Gunna of doing, uh, this young Mr. YSL Woody, um, he, he said them things to them people. The thing that was confusing to me is this trial is currently happening. How is this leaking if not the police leaking it? Yes. And okay, if that's true, which I agree, what's the point of leaking it now while the trial is going on? If not, they don't they want something to happen to YSL Woody. Yes. But why would they do it during the trial? Because do they want more things to happen? Do they want more charges? Not, I think not only that, like to be tried by the public is oh, also. Oh, the trial hasn't started according to Mel. They're in ju jury selection. Oh, well, there you go. Mel Taint. knows all the YSL oh, Mel was just saying her and Greg watched all three hours of this uh interrogation oh because that's zone six that's that's, that's big zone that's six low. she said her and greg watched it like must see television and the, he started with y'all ain't got nothing on me y'all ain't got nothing on me and she said the point where he was like well what can i do to help myself mm. she said it was like yeah. whoo whoo i can't imagine watching for three hours no not for somebody I don't even know who they are. You don't know why I sell Woody? Booty. Let me tell you what I didn't know. Him. I didn't know him either. What does it is it does it stand for the brand, the YSL, or does no, it I young slender young. language? What does it stand I for? I think it's young slender language. I think it's young. no, it's it's young stoner life, isn't no, it? No, man. Stone. It's young slender language. No, slanga. Slang slang. Oh, slang Stop, don't troll me. Language. Don't troll me, Kevin. One. I think it's slime. Young, young stoner, stoner life? life. I thought it was slime. Young no, life? slime is just what they call each other. Free slime, free slime. Ooh, why did they call each other slime? Oh God, guys. No. Are we looking forty? Are we? Are we is this a, is this a lie? Is this is this not real? Oh, are you it's a scringe, guys. <laughs> why are your friends to ask questions? Hold on, are you serious? Slime. slime? Ah uh, yes. That's my twin. That's a, what's up, twin? That's they slime. do that. That's what they oh, call they thug. say they say twin a lot. Was it, why do they say it? I don't know. It's so like, what's the slime? Like, is it like bro? What's twin like, bro? Can I call you twin? <laughs> I call him twin all the time. Because you're the young slime. Ah! <laughs> young stone of life. I got we don't young know, Josh. What, what, okay, they song? say it in the comments, slime is for blood. Twin them is not blood, is it? Blood. Like that's not blood? <laughs> Randy said they got the ribs. Hold oh, okay, on. slime. They're saying in the Patreon, it's like saying "cuz." Oh, why did they do slime? That sounds disgusting. Question: Does he do songs? Why so, Woody? Yes. I don't know. Oh, I never. That I don't know. He was in. The funny thing he's is, if you go to his it. Instagram, he's wearing the clothes. Why well, had a fire album though? That I will say. It, what's he say? They Yo, had collectively. Yeah. They were all. They all came together. Oh, they know? are. They are a group. Well, that, that's the whole thing is YSL is not just a music label. It's a gang. That's that's what the they Rico's are. They are a gang. Why are you? What is Kevin. So wait a minute. Angel said they are a group. <laughs> Angel, I want you to be cleaning some greens. I mean, tearing the greens leaf. 
You sound so much older than forty two. Uh-huh. This is so. This is such Who a crazy is the episode. Are in they the dirty? Chat, in, in in the Patreon chat, they're they're explaining what Riz is. Thank while you. We're talking about every slime. time y'all you don't know what Riz is. Why would I know what Riz is? L- Lil Marcus uh-huh. knows Riz. No, he don't. He knows Riz. I will call, if, if he if he was allowed to answer his phone. Lil Marcus, phone. I know Riz. Let me tell you what I'm Riz text is. Him and see if he'll uh, he'll know what Riz is. Riz is this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Riz is the is is. the young children's the Gen Zers or the next generation. I don't know. What is the next Gen one? Gen A, I think it goes to A. Oh, they started over? It starts over. Okay. Riz is game, right? So if Marcus, big Marcus, if he pulled you. I know, I heard your son and it, when how'd you Riz mom up? And yeah. I was like, so Riz oh, talks about is, sex. It's it's no, Riz, it's charisma. Well, they I saw. That's the Riz, Angel. I will, that's, that's the ridge slime so back to YSL twin they are twin a now. group that raps and sometimes does illegal things together like a I, what was first rap, a f- what do you mean the gang or the music well that's that's the <laughs> that's I the think that's the two things about. so they're like the ASAP people yes yeah but they ASAP and them didn't do crimes though so for they have a I drug. don't know <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get. I don't know. Anymore. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I didn't know. I, I uh, this. I'm being serious. I thought the rappers was just rapping about stuff. When the Rico case came out, I was like, Oh, y'all was, y'all was doing these. Is crimes? this the Rico people? Yeah, Rico is I, racketeering. I, I inf- got Rico. Ooh, what are the I rest of them it, letters? It for? don't matter what I know. What racketeering it means. information control organizations. <laughs> just fill it in. I don't know what Rico stands so, for. Raggatory Influence Corrupt Organizations Act. So, YSL Woody, also known as Little Woody. Also known as Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland. The pastor. Is with his mama <laughs> in, the, in the songwriter. Can you imagine? <laughs> Kenneth Copeland, free slime. Free slime. <laughs> <laughs> if it was really Kenneth Copeland and secretly in YSL... That would be That'd the be twist of the I'll tell you what you need to know. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> what do you do? You were oh, selling holy water, oh Kevin Copeland? No, I was selling that pack. <laughs> you feel? What if Kevin Copeland said, you feel me? I would love it. <laughs> free twin in them, you feel me? Slime. K- so you just yell slime? Free slime. Free slime. I thought the no. S was for slime. I didn't know that was for stoner life. Wait a minute. It's, it's a think? nick. It, s- s- do I say, hey, slime? Yes, I know you it's cannot a nickname. say hey. Oh, you cannot say hey. Doesn't just get you thrown cannot in say slime. hey for anything. Hey, like- sli- hello, slime. <laughs> How uh, are you? Did you riz anyone today? I don't think the people who say slime are also saying riz. What's happening? Oh, so you can't say both? Riz is like Zay Zay and JoJo's age. And then slime is whose age? I don't know how old young Thug is. I don't, 25 I don't know. to 30, I think. I don't know if it Riz is, is kids, kids, TikTok kids. Okay, so Riz is for Riz is eighteen and younger, maybe Slime. sixteen. Twenty eight and to thirty-five. Twin. Or maybe over. What about twin? I don't know. I twin don't know is that twin. mostly Georgia? Twin and M? Twin and M? Is that mo- I don't know. Uh, I I don't know. I'm not from that region. Because Greg's Slime, from Georgia, but he twin. don't say twin. But Go like Greg. Drewski always say, Drewski always says twin. Greg don't say twin. Greg is old. So Greg is old. Greg so, hey, twin. That's my slime. <sighs> there you go. I don't want you to do that. That's my slime. Oh, all of my videos going to start off. <laughs> Look at my little slimes. No. Those are my babies. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm hip. How do we get here? Uh, nobody's supposed to be here. Moving <laughs> on. Speaking of how do we get here. And I don't know why he said this. Uh, I really was surprised. Who? Idris Elba. He said he don't want to be uh, said, considered a black actor anymore. He said that. And when you are a, as black as they get. <laughs> does, does he know he's never? Idris Elba says he no longer describes himself as a black actor as it puts him in a box. I want to know the problematic timeline Idris has had over the last, what's it been, five years? What did he do before now? What do you do? I don't know what Hasn't he do. Hasn't he had a... Look at that, Josh. Like, he took listen, a deep breath. that's my twin While you look it up, Luther star Idris Elba says he no longer refers to himself as a black actor because the label puts him in a box and an obsession with race can hinder aspirations and growth. 
Speaking to Esquire, he said, if we spent half the time not talking about the differences, but the similarities between us, the entire planet would have a shift in the way we deal with each other. This Elba was told all the around James Bond? This is after James Bond. Okay. As humans, we're obsessed with race, and that obsession can really hinder people's aspirations and hinder people's growth. Um, he said also, racism is very real, but he believes it's only as powerful as you allow it to be. I, d- I stopped describing myself as a black actor when I realized it put me in a block. We've got box. We've got to grow. We've got to. Our skin is no more than that. It's just skin. Rant over. Oh, bless his heart. I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's so, you know, I guess he's made a certain amount of money where he thinks his perception of whether or not he's black or not matters. The thing is, here's... Th- he cannot describe himself as a black <laughs> right. actor. That is his choice. Absolutely. That doesn't make him not a black That's actor. That's what I said. That it is a descriptive term. <laughs> right. It doesn't matter. You are a black actor. If he, and he said he's not going to do it, but if he were to take the James Bond role, regardless of how he describes himself, mm-hmm. the headline would say, first black actor yeah. to play James Bond, yes. Idris Elba. If James Bond, uh, I think 007 was a black woman, but they weren't, they, she was, or 006, whatever, uh, it would say the first woman, right? Mm. Um, I guarantee you, and what's more important, Idris, and I see you, I, I see what you're trying to do. You a black actor to them people who are casting you. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that change. Listen, nigga, this is not pronouns. You gonna be black. You you don't get to listen. How you view yourself, praise God. Praise him. Praise amen, him. Amen. Praise but him. You's gonna be a Negro you... to the marketing team. What? Okay, you think they gonna ain't gonna put you on assets? They gonna say, get your black ass in them pink, a pink fur coat and sat on a top of a couch like Jonathan on Ebony. <laughs> They ain't about to not have you on that. Nigga, get out of here. Black is descriptive. Fat is also a descriptive. I am a fat man. Okay? That's a descriptive term. That's one of the reasons I use noon. Oh. I'd like to be a less of a fat man. Oh. I'd like to work out and eat right and be consistent. Yeah. But when I'm not... Noom don't say get your fat behind up and be greasy and sit over there and be slime. Rizmi. Oh. They don't say Rizmi. God. They don't do it. They don't call me twin in them. Mm-hmm. They say, Kev, you was eating cake again last night, wasn't you? And, and you didn't think nobody heard you. But your stomach is part of your body, Kev. Mm. So when you eat that cake three days in a row, you know, when you go down to Joey's and order the happy hour menu and it ain't happy hour. Mm-hmm. Good happy hour, though. And you go in, you got to rectify that down with the noon. Mm-hmm. And that's why I like noon because what I figured out and what they already know is noon is a psychology based approach. Okay. They say losing weight starts with your brain. The program helps you understand the science behind your eating choices and why you have cravings. To date, noon weight has helped more than 4.6 million people lose weight. I want to make it 4.7. I'm trying to make it 4.7. Yes, Kevin. All right. Everybody's journey is different. Josh, he be eating rice cakes and protein shakes. Bless his heart. And he was consistent. Last year, I want to mm-hmm. say from January through March, he didn't make no mistakes. We went down to South by Southwest. Southwest. Mm-hmm. And we went to a barbecue place. Josh ate a salad. It was the worst decision I had ever made in my entire life. The barbecue life. people was like, hey, guys, uh, we had salads on the menu still. <laughs> they, yeah. were, they were just pulling the salad. It still tasted like the, the cheeseburger that they pulled it off of. Mm-hmm. They pulled that lettuce off of sandwiches. Now, what I had, a whole hog. <laughs> I had me a whole hog, and I ate everything Austin, Texas had to offer. But when I came back, I was right on track. And that's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Stay focused on what's important with Noom, Noom's weight psychology based approach. Sign up for your trial today at Noom.com slash SK. SK. That's N O O M.com slash SK. SK. To sign up for your trial today and check out Noom's first ever book, The Noom Mindset. Oh. A deep dive into the psychology of behavior change. Available to buy now wherever books are. So, mm. all right, now back to Idris. Um, John Boyega, friend of the pod, 
I don't want to misquote him. He said something about this, but I don't want to misquote him, so I'm going to leave it out. John Boyega. Mm-hmm. John Boyega don't be with that. I know that. who he is. You know, I know John? The Johns. I know John, Jonathan Mayers, because he's a friend major, excuse me, because he's a friend. Uh, John Boyega. Mm-hmm. Okay, praise God. He says he got to have a black woman. Oh, now he did. Now I love you for the rest of your life. For the rest of my life. Also, Star Wars. John, yes, he did. That, but mostly from him saying he needed a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the two quotes from John Boyega, friend of the pot. He was so nice. They say JoJo met him doing uh, arts and raps, I believe, for Pacific Rim 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And they loved him from um, Star Wars 2. They still love him. He said, he tweeted, I think we should fix out on who's, fixate on who's typecasting and putting actors in boxes because of this. Not on making weird adjustments for them. We continually, conti- continuously focus on what we have to do so they don't have to do this or that. Very worrying. This final sentence is great. We are black, and that's that. No. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that. And that's that. We are black. And that's that. In our... Obsession- we are black people. Mm-hmm. There is nothing wrong with... Uh, we are, as a people, in my opinion, and I'm talking about human race, are a tribal people, right? And being black is... A tr- it, the acknowledgement of, of us being black can be a tribal thing the problem is not identifying it it's the problem is how people respond to the identifier so that's the only thing that's the only like come on now uh idris it's not the the only reason why you feel like you're in a box is because of the racism that is surrounded by being black there you go it has nothing to do with you actually being black there you go (laughs) but you know Sometimes people like to work backwards problem solving. And maybe, <laughs> hey, maybe he, this is the solution. And listen, I, don't think so. I, I agree with you. I like Idris. And here's the other thing. Sometimes, um, well, let me, let me say this. The reason that uh, we are, uh, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. Will Smith, beloved by Hollywood. Boy, he did one, and I'm talking about after a career of nary a misstep, mm-hmm. period. Mm-hmm. He had a misstep. I'm sure he'd agree. Boy, when them people, them white people, they, you black today. Mm-hmm. Remember Will Smith transcends this, transcend, but he was black that day. I was traumatized. Oh, they pulled them. I <laughs> Judd Apatow said <laughs> Could have killed him. Could have killed him. Could have killed him. With a straight face, Angel. Yeah. He could have killed him. Mm, mm, Boy, they playing victim in a story that wasn't even about them. Oh, no, they going to find it. Is anybody playing victim? Chris, get out of here. <laughs> I can do it so much better than preparing all my life. <laughs> what happened? He slept. I felt so scared. They was How? Felt so scared. I just thought he was gonna go on a slapping rampage and I was next. I thought I was next. I thought I was next. Oh my God. Yeah, there, I really, again, I can see from a side because it does, it is very, it is crazy when you don't realize some of the stipulations you've put on your own success. Yeah. Because of how you see yourself in the world. 1,000%. But that perception was heavily persuaded on purpose. Listen, the pe- <laughs> people be like, why y'all, y'all being us, always bring race into it? Y'all <laughs> brought race into it first. <laughs> the race stuff was in the law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was written down in the law. They had to amend the Constitution. You made it about race. Yeah, did. You, when you redlined our neighborhoods, you made it about race. When you ran the freeways over our neighborhoods, you made it about race. Take it back. When all the passengers you put on the boat 
was black. <laughs> they didn't say let's get some people from Spain. No, let's get some people from Iceland too. They said black ones. Get them. Get. We there was people them. all over the world. No, they said we they didn't be go able to, to see them easier. Get them Negroes. Switzerland. No, <laughs> we'll be able to see them easily. Yes, that's really like in they order didn't say to be it. able to see the order in order to easily be able to identify whose owner and whose slave. Make them look different Listen, than what you look like. Then you ain't got to worry. Let me tell you, Oz, if you don't know this. It's like the red Target shirt. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> Let me tell you why race was created. Even more than slavery or on the same level. Post-slavery, when you had poor whites and poor blacks mm -hmm. and no slaves, right? If you're slaves, white people can say, well, they slaves. Mm -hmm. We poor, but they slaves. You can other them. Post-slavery. When you say, well, shoot, now we poor and you poor. Wait a second. We ain't much different than them now. Why are we taking orders from y'all? And they said, hey, 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 they're black though. Mm -hmm. Right, guys? No. You may be poor, but at least you're white. Yeah. They have used that, at least you're white, to have poor white people voting against their own interests as long as they feel like they are hurting black people. As long as they, they will be other dudes. They on welfare. You know who really be on welfare? You know. 25, 20. Not, not just by sheer numbers. I'm talking about by obviously sheer numbers because there's more white people, but by percentages as well. You know who got helped from affirmative action more than black men and women? White women. Well, white no. women. Y'all yeah. fighting against affirmative action when you benefited from it more because at least we ain't black. Yeah. That's race has has kept poor whites of whom there are a lot mm -hmm. calm because if poor whites and poor blacks and poor brown folks was all like there's way more of us then the actual people in power would be in trouble. Yeah. But if you can convince somebody that you ain't off as, as bad off as them, that's why that little TikTok of that little white boy was saying, boy, are we black? And he said, no. <laughs> he said, whew, that whew came from his very soul. He's like, because it's not looking good for it them. It ain't looking good in the streets. He's like, I don't want it. Keep it. Boy, Find somebody else to do it. I be like, and hey, listen, that's why when black people would listen, somebody said black people getting wealth ain't capitalism it's reparations because if you can get a little piece of something in the world designed to rob you of everything right that's the thing that really like the rules change too much first it was go back to your country then it was just y'all leave us alone you don't belong here yeah but that wasn't true once black people in tulsa and winston-salem and rosewood Build up their own communities and said, we don't need white people at all. They don't said. bother us. We'll take this crap piece of land the same way we took the worst parts of the, the cow and made oxtail. The same way we found a, turned out the worst part of the pig to make it edible. Mm -hmm. We'll do that with land. Build our own communities. The white people came and said, man, sure, well, the best mechanics is over in Tulsa. And the best tailors is over in Tulsa. And the nightclubs, the best nightclubs is over yeah. in Tulsa. The best singers. So y'all gonna come in. And the black dollar was staying there when they dropped a bomb they on said, black people in Philadelphia. <laughs> they said, we'll get rid of all of it. You don't want us to have our own. You want us to have nothing. No, not nothing but pain want, and suffering. They want a co-dependent relationship. They want us. Yes. To depend on them. No, no, no. They want a subservient relationship. Oh, absolutely. No, I say codependent because <clears throat> they don't want to have to do the work <laughs> that we do. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. It's like, no, 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 no. Because if you go get big, then you're not going to work for me. Right. That's why they were and giving I, out acres of land for pennies on the dollar today. Today? No, no, no. Pennies on like, the equivalent today of oh, pennies, oh, pennies today. on the dollar yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're like, no, 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 no. We don't want you to leave us alone because we actually need you because you were our you were our currency. We had labor. We had free labor. And if you think you're going to work for yourself, then who's going to work for me? Who's going to work for me? I'm not going to do it. They're like, come come on back they here. They were literally, black women were literally raising their children. And nursing them. Nursing their children. 
I was just saying to my sister, uh, my sister who owns her own business, and she's having to she's having to get these folk all the way together. She's like, I am reporting you all to all the government agencies. But I was like, the reason why black women are the highest sector of new entrepreneurs coming into the coming into the business world is not because we're like I've got to be my own boss. It's because folk don't want to treat us right. Right. They don't want to pay us right. Seriously. And it's just like, okay, now, listen, either you're going to treat me fairly and I can give you all the genius and hard work that I have, or I'm going to leave and I'm going to start my own business, use my own ideas, and it's always going to be this little thing of, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Now, now, no, 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 we'll treat you fairly. We're going to bring you over here. Right. And they're going to do the same shit. Yeah. Over and over <laughs> and over again. So it's not that we're bringing up race. Right. No. You're bringing it up with how you pay me, with how you treat me, with how you pay me and how you treat me, how you how you ignore me when I have ideas and pretend as if someone else <clears throat> gave you the idea that what you said, friend, that is that what is you why. said, slime. So, come on, twin. Mm -mm. Twin. We nope. killing this. No, nope, no, no. We are killing. Don't, Josh. We're not, we're not throwing slime around, though. <laughs> Why can't? Is that a wrong it's word? Gang. Is it gang? Or yes. is it friend? So slime is a gang friend term. What is the gang? We just, we just shouldn't. We don't blood? Are they bloods? Because yeah, I know cuz is crip. I know that. And I know blood is blood. I know so, blood of Jesus. Oh. Hey, and it bull. And it washes us. And it washes. All the way yeah. to 25, 20 of snow. <laughs> <laughs> 25, 20. <laughs> do, 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 do. Jesus paid it up. Oh, oh, to, to hit my door. Sin had left the cribs and say. Say, you know, I can't go up there. See, there is, has left the crimson He watched me. He watched me. my friend that's, right there that's my twin that's my twin is twin gang come on give us i so don't know not, georgia we don't want to get shot <laughs> josh know. teach us they now. don't use any of it oh, all right we're, josh. Uh, we're just right through i'll be saying twin anyway i, I think twin you can mama. say twin i'm gonna say twin you can say slime twin. is disgusting anyway so, slime you can leave it alone all right we love y'all we will see y'all patreon uh later this week more than likely please vote for me uh, win or lose, I will never promote this hard. Actually, lose, I won't. Win or lose, you will never promote this. If I don't win That's this, it. and I, NAACP, single me out. If I don't win this, and that's fine. I will happily cheer for whoever wins. You won't happily cheer. I You'll will fake cheer. Fake <laughs> cheer. But I'll be happy for them on the inside, like that mask meme. Mm -hmm. If I lose, though, fair and square, that is fine. Nominate somebody else. They're gonna nominate. I you. nominate you just Keith don't Lee. Promote it. Don't y'all dare put me in there with no, Keith. Yes. Don't you dare. I hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> they love, they Not love with all, all them the free hires. They've been getting man. Don't you do it. I'm gonna say appreciate y'all in a story post. <laughs> but I ain't gonna never make it to grid. I love y'all though. I met the president and the vice president of the NAACP. Derek Johnson. Derek Johnson and um, I can't remember the lady's name. Yes, yeah, but I love woman. her too. TBTB uh, will be today for TV, later TV, on. Uh, hold on. I, I want to say her name. Yes, say her name. Because uh, he was sitting at our table, so I saw his little thing. Mm -hmm. Her name is something. It's hyphenated. I think I've met her, too. But you're right. Uh, I can't. I cannot mm. remember. It, it's at all. Derek Johnson. Okay. Oh, shoot. They were all about this. No. Cynthia something. Man, there's a lot of people on this. Cynthia. Sing, Angel. <laughs> you can't find her name? Uh-uh. Hold on. I'm looking at the leadership page, and I don't see nobody that I know. What What's she is? Her name, name is Karen Boykin Towns. Karen Boykin Towns. Why isn't she on this? I don't know. but Who, How'd you find her, Angel? I typed in NAACP Vice President. Why is she not on this list? I don't ah, know. 
I was looking at the, she's on the board of directors. Yes. Vice chairman, board of directors. She got short haircut like Liz. All right. We love y'all. God bless you. God keep you. You have that hand. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. Here's another bang of fire With my boy Kev on stage And that chick angel